Hi, my name is Valerie and I'm a convicted felon. I want to tell you the story about how God unleashed his grace and mercy in my life. Everybody deals with pain in different ways and everybody experiences pain. Some people deal with it in healthy ways and some people deal with it in unhealthy ways. I dealt with my pain in very unhealthy ways for a long, long time. Um, my pain started um, as a young woman. I am a survivor of emotional and physical abuse as well as a violent sexual assault. Um, in those things, it, it caused a lot of shame and guilt, so I did a lot of suppression. I did a lot of um, pretending it didn't happen and wanting to avoid and run away from the reality. And the way I did that was by using drugs and alcohol to numb the pain and to just try and get on with life and survive. I spent about two decades running from the pain um, and in that process. I developed an eating disorder. Um, I hid things really well and also developed a pretty severe opiate addiction that caused me to lose my nursing license, lose my career. I almost lost my marriage and my husband and my family, and I could have lost my freedom. God redeemed my life the minute I decided to surrender to him. And for me, that looked like going to a three-month inpatient rehab facility. There, I was able to get the healing I needed through Christ-centered therapy, confront PTSD, my disordered eating, my opiate addiction, and all the hurt from the past. And in that, I found freedom. Uh, I was able to forgive uh, what had been done to me and what I had done to others. And because of that process, I was also able to renew my relationship with my husband, my friends, my family, and I'm a completely different person because of it, and I'm so grateful. The part I'm most excited about with this, giving this testimony and telling my story is the healing part and the redemption part. So if you feel held captive to your circumstances, if you're running from pain, I want to invite you. Um, there is a way forward. All you need to do is surrender to God. Um, what I do is surround myself with accountability. And for me, that's going to celebrate recovery, that's um, attending therapy, that's being honest and transparent about how I feel about things and being okay with not being okay. If you are struggling right now and you're having a hard time with your circumstances and running from pain, I wanna encourage you there is a way forward. I'd like to invite you to celebrate recovery. We have it available at Calvary on Monday nights and at Hilltop on Thursday nights. Um, and in those places, you'll find people who have been through similar struggles that have overcome some pretty difficult circumstances and they have done it through leaning on Jesus. I'm now celebrating almost two years of sobriety and healing and although the state of Arizona may call me a convicted felon, I know my true identity is in Christ and I am a child of God.